Okay, I'm revisiting a circuit that Johnny Davro started uh, the whole thread on way back when, and it was his pan oscillator or aluminum tray oscillator where he just used a transistor, a high voltage trigger coil, and a couple of aluminum pans or trays, and they got a feedback going here with the trigger coil and made one of these uh, exciter circuits and this was Johnny Davro's pan exciter so I really looked at it did a few things that I've learned and came up with uh, that right there and uh, this actually worked out really really well and it's the trigger coil but instead of using trays or aluminum pans I'm just getting a feedback right off of the coil that's a 10 K volt uh, trigger coil uh, one transistor and I added a couple other parts here there's the circuit and uh, I don't send out my circuits and I don't post them anymore I just uh, have these videos so take a look at this and you should be able to copy this circuit off the video if you need to take a picture of it but uh, I'm calling this uh, the Johnny Lid Motor Exciter Circuit and um, it's uh, extremely simple that's uh, Johnny's original idea was make this thing really simple and there it is uh, not much to it, but uh, I put it on a board, and uh, it actually works quite well. I'm running it here off a double-A battery and uh, a dozen LEDs, but it'll light up all kinds of things depending on the voltage y you do. Uh, it's a self-resonating, uh, self-oscillating circuit. There's no tuning to it except for this coil. And I got this idea from uh, Slayer Exciter Experiments where they have that... Uh, primary coil movable up and down the secondary coil and I thought what the heck I might as well try it on this and it worked and it's an open-ended coil you can see it right there there's the coil for the feedback loop to the base of the transistor and it's open-ended it's not connected anything. it just picks up a signal tells the transistor to fire now it has to have something to start it a 22k resistor is what I found works once it's going you can really disconnect that and the feedback just keeps on going but it won't self start unless you have that but with the 22k resistor it runs awfully good and this LED doesn't need to be there but it's an indicator that the oscillator is running and I found that very effective on these circuits to tell if they're actually oscillating or not let me turn this on I'll show you the okay there's the oscillator running you see the white LED right there and uh, now here's the dozen uh, LEDs. Now these are in series. These are all connected in series. And there's the dozen LEDs lit up in series. And uh, like I say, depending on the voltage that you run this at um, and the configuration, you can run this on up to about 9 volts without uh, burning up that transistor. That's just an MPS A06 transistor. I did put a socket for it because you burn these things up on these exciters. We all found that, that out. So rather than solder it in, go ahead and get yourself a little socket so you can replace that transistor. Several of the ones I tried worked there, but the NPS AL6 seems to work the best with this exciter. But it's got pretty much all the other characteristics. I don't like the amp draw. It's 30 amps out of that thing. But it does do, um, do the usual stuff. There's the high voltage on a, on a neon. And uh, it'll pick up the uh, the uh, high voltage off of the battery source.